What's up everybody, Mom Vernon Kid here again with the Opinion Spot Coming to you again with my 6th fight for Section 3 And as you saw, uh, this fight was created by my friend Young J-Way uh, Check out his channel, uh, as always And he puts two powerhouses, the heavens will shake And he pits the mighty Thor Thor Odinson of Marvel Comics versus the Dark Lord himself Dark Side <laughs> interesting fight like I said the heavens will shake when these two collide in my opinion and uh, this has always been a very interesting and I'm glad young J-Way had uh, thought of this battle because uh, I know I probably would have but he beat me to it. <laughs> so let's start off with Thor, shall we? Thor. The mighty Thor. And that name does stick to who this man, this god, this hero is. Thor is probably the, one of the most powerful of the Asgardians, besides his father, of course, uh, Odin. But he is of the same Thor of the Norse mytho mythological god of thunder himself. Uh, he was created by Stan Lee and the king Jack Kirby. Uh, and he's one of the major powerhouses of the, of the Marvel Universe. Wielding the powerful, powerful hammer, Yonnir. I hope I said that name right. I'm always getting his hammer name wrong. Uh... Thor has gone up against many of the other powerhouses in the Marvel Universe. Silver Surfer, Hulk, uh, Ego, <laughs> the Living Planet, you name it. He's gone up against many powerhouses and he's lived to tell the tale. Uh, he's a fierce battle, a fierce warrior, uh, very strong, very powerful. And for all those who think, oh, he just, he can't fight without his hammer, you are sadly mistaken. Uh, he is a warrior true. Let's put it like that. And many of the other, or the other Asgardians look to him as a leader, as a symbol of Asgard. Uh, he is a founding member of the Avengers. He is back with the Avengers, the main team. Um, and Thor is just one of those guys you, you love, uh, most definitely. Um, over the years, he has been through many changes as now, including his, his attire. And I, and I like his attire now. His attire looks very cool. Um, I have no problem with it. I do like the fact that he changes back from Donald Blake and back to uh, in, in Thor himself he is more human than God because he understands us mortals uh, because of you know him being around the humans as much uh, but he's a warrior no doubt his tactical skills is great his powers are cool there's not much I can say that you guys probably don't know so that's Thor. But let's move on, shall we? Let's move on to his combatant, shall we? And his combatant is Darkseid. And let's just put it like this. This guy is a bad, bad man. Okay? Man, God, whatever you want to call this guy. Uh, he is probably one of the most recognizable villains of the DC universe in my opinion he's one of my favorite villains he is the force of the DC universe that he is a threat to everybody not just Superman but everybody uh, dark side is definitely definitely a bad boy let's just put it like that uh, 
And though he looks intimidating, and he definitely sure is, believe it or not, but this guy is a master manipulator. Uh, and he has manipulated the heck out of many people um, over the years. Uh, let me tell you, let me tell you a little bit. If anybody remembers Final Crisis, how basically he did all these devious things. Let me just show you how. Darkseid used one of his servants, uh, Libra, to unite the Earth's supervillains into a secret society. Okay, let's put it like that. He also had Libra, Libra, uh, arrange an attack on the Daily Planet to distract Superman. He murdered Marsh John as a means of recruiting more supervillains. He framed Hal Jordan. He for murdering Orion. He captured Batman. He infected Wonder Woman with an unknown virus. This guy has done so much that just to say you know oh he's just he's just all talk you are sadly mistaken and he can go toe to toe with the likes of Superman or powerhouse like Thor uh, he's a, his tactical skills are great he he's pretty much his tactical skills are on par with any god of war let me just put it like that uh strength very strong he's very strong uh but once again i'm gonna keep reiterating it he's a bad bad man okay they don't get no much better than this guy and uh and that's all i'm gonna say about dark side so, in terms of a um, battle, we have to wonder, would Darkseid's Omega Beans hurt Thor? Could Thor be able to deflect them with Yonir and ricochet them back at him? Uh, would Yonir actually hurt Darkseid? And I'm talking about these guys using their full strength, going at it one-on-one -on -one, face to face man to man god to god eye to eye you know what i'm saying like i said in the beginning the heavens will shake because if if i if you've seen any fight between soups and dark side then just imagine what thor and dark side could deliver uh I have a strong feeling that it's going to take both of these characters' tactical skills to defeat one another. And since both of these characters don't get tired, this battle can go on for a long, long time. Unless one of these characters, like as I always say, because it always does, one of them makes a miscalculated error. And that one character capitalizes on it that's all I can say people but you guys you my viewers my my YouTube family tell me who would win in this battle or is this just a draw out fight that will never end so who wins the mighty Thor or dark side and you guys take it easy